Chavez, beams on the llamas, New York City's finest, drug dealer dream, red jag rim shining, four shooters riding in the trucks right behind. Alright, look, hit the like button, hit the sub button, hit the notification bell, you understand me? Subscribe to my channel, join this Fisk Unit Army, and get Fisk Unit tough, okay? Listen, the Knicks need Jesus. That's what the Knicks need, okay? The Knicks need a miracle of some kind. They need a parting of the Red Sea. They need that, okay? They, they need to be touched. They need to be biblically touched to save this franchise. Now, here's the problem. We got draft picks, but with Jalen Brunson, Thibodeau, and these role players, we're going to be a first or second round playoff team for the foreseeable future. Because what is Jalen Brunson like, 24, 25? So it's like, for the next like eight, nine years, we ain't going to be trash. Okay, so that's problem number one. All right, problem number two is Giannis and Bede and Jimmy Butler. Okay, so, and Jason Tatum. I, let, me, let me not be completely disrespectful. So, what I'm trying to say is this. The Knicks are not going to get lucky and get Jokic. We're not going to get lucky and get Giannis. We're not going to get Kawhi with the 14th pick. We're not going to mess around, get Victor Wimbayama with a number one pick. We've been waiting on that since Patrick Ewing. The Knicks have not gotten lucky in the draft since Patrick Ewing. And, and that might have been fixed. So what I'm trying to say is this. We need to come together. We need to light some candles. We need to get out whatever Bible we read and pray to whoever we pray to. And we need to conjure up, speak it into existence, will it into reality. We need to get Zion. That's our only hope. He's a depressed asset at the moment because, you know what I'm saying, he, he, trying, he, he, he trying to wife up porn stars and he fat. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to take a chance because when Zion's healthy, that dude a top five player. Zion gets busy when he's healthy. This has to happen. The Pelicans are taking offers to shop in Zion. The Knicks have mad picks and contracts to throw at them. The only reason why I'm not saying trade R.J. Barrett is because him and R.J. Barrett are mad cool. They're like best friends. So if you bring Zion to the Knicks with R.J. Barrett already there, R.J. Barrett is a hard worker. He's just not that good. So you, you, you have a situation where Zion's going to come to the Knicks where he wanted to come in the first place. Zion wanted to be a Knicks four years ago he never even wanted to go to New Orleans so you get Zion in an atmosphere where he's happy he hates the front office in New Orleans he hates his teammates that's why they're even shopping him to begin with you put him in New York around Thibodeau who don't play that shit you put him around hard workers like Brunson Quentin Grimes the the Josh Hart's like you put him around these goons. The Knicks is full of hard working blue collar goons. You get into this building, you get into this atmosphere. You can't be pussy. All right, you can't be overweight. You can't be out of shape. You can't be pussy because Thibodeau gonna play you forty minutes anyway. Julius Randle was leading the league in minutes. Thibodeau don't play that 25, 30 minute crap. He don't do that. And you get him around R.J. Barrett, who's been his homeboy since college. He's more likely to give a damn. Because the rumor around Zion is he doesn't give a damn. So if, if you get him in New York where he's going to be happy, where he's going to want to succeed, you get him around some good people who set examples with work ethic, Zion in New York can work. It, it, it took him be like four years to play 60 games. So let's not act like we haven't seen this before. We just saw this with Joel Embiid. It took Joel Embiid a minute to get his body together, to get healthy and stay consistent. And now he's an MVP. That can be Zion. If you put Zion in the garden, he's the face of the NBA. If I'm Adam Silver, I'm making sure he goes in New York because Ja, ja out here toting burners. Giannis, nobody cares. Jokic, nobody cares. Donkish, nobody cares because they're born and they're from overseas. And, and as Americans, we don't care about these foreigners. Victor Wimbayama is a foreigner. LeBron old as dust. Curry old as dust. You need Zion in the garden. You need him in the Mecca. Let him resurrect F sports in New York. If you put Zion in New York, he's the biggest star in the NBA. Could you imagine Zion in the NBA Finals? Could you imagine Zion playoff games? That's the energy you need. 
we deserve Zion. We need to come together. We need to pray. We need to will this into reality. The only way the Knicks are going to get out of NBA purgatory is with a Zion. We need a star. Nobody ever signs with the Knicks, and I don't know why. Superstars never want to come to New York. I don't know why. Okay? It seems like Joel Embiid is going to get Harden back, so he's going to be happy in Philly. Giannis is a year out. And Damon, Damon Brunson just don't fit. So, I think Zion is a Nick by Thursday. I think Zion's a Nick by Thursday, man. This can happen anytime, any day now, man. I think Zion is a Nick by Thursday. I think he's a Nick, man. I think they're going to trade Zion. I don't think they want him in New Orleans. And I think he comes to the Knicks because the Knicks have the most to give. They can give him Randall quickly and like three first rounders. That's a good deal for Zion, especially a team like New Orleans who needs a guard. Emmanuel quickly would be perfect for them. Randall would be perfect for them because Randall will play great next to Brandon Ingram. Hell, we've seen it before. So you, they'd have McCollum quickly, Randall, and Ingram in draft picks. I think that's a cool deal, man. I think that's a good deal. How y'all feel, Nick fans? I think that's a good deal. I mean, I'm sure they're throwing something else, but if you bring Zion to the Knicks, we got to keep Josh Hart. We got to keep Quentin Grimes. We got to keep Brunson and RJ. Throw in Zion. We're going to keep Mitchell Robinson because they don't even need Mitchell Robinson because they got, uh, what's his name, Valanchunas or something like that. So at the end of the day, fellas, Zion's in New York. It makes the most sense. I think that Scoot Henderson, Zion to Charlotte makes no sense. Because the thing is, if you put Zion in Charlotte, is he going to give a damn? Bro, Charlotte is worse than New Orleans. If he's unhappy in New Orleans, you think he's going to be happy in Charlotte? Stop the cap. The only way to resurrect Zion is to send that dude to the garden. It's the only way we're going to do it. But anyway, that's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you're rocking with me. My name is Fitz Vegas. And I'll prove this message.